How to zoom in in Minecraft. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like. And uh, yeah, that will also help me out greatly. So I'm over here inside of Minecraft and I'm going to show you guys two methods in order to be able to zoom in. Both are actually quite easy and I'm going to show you guys everything step by step. Now, if you are looking to host a Minecraft server with your friends, for example, for the two week Minecraft phase where you are all hyped up to host a Minecraft server for extremely cheap and a very good hosting service, then um, I have left a link in the description of this YouTube video or the pinned comment down below, which will bring you over to Apex Hosting. Now, Apex Hosting has a 25% off if you use this code for your very first month. And you can get started for as cheap as $6 per month, which is extremely doable. So if you would like to host a server, then check out Apex Hosting. Now I'm here inside of a browser. And here I'm going to simply search for Optifine. This is going to be method number one in order to zoom in in Minecraft. So here we can see Optifine. And here we can see all of the features as well. So it, uh, there's FPS boost, HD texture, shaders, and all of these options, which will also add uh, to Minecraft. But what we need to do is click on downloads here at the top. Here we can see all of the versions wh which we can download for Minecraft. Now, as you can see, um, already the problem is, is that it is not completely up to date. Optifine is actually quite slow in updating to the newest version. And if, for example, go to Minecraft over here, currently the newest version is 1.21.1. So, um, yeah, you can download it for all of the older versions, but the newest version is only this. So, what I'm going to do is simply download the... Um, most recent version over here for this tutorial. So here I'm going to click on download. Then here you will get a bunch of ads, um, which you will have to wait for here at the top right corner. Don't click on anything, just simply click on skip. Once again, here a bunch of ads will appear, but you just want to click on this big download button. And then it will start downloading here in the top right corner. Now, before we can actually install Optifine, we need to run the version of Optifine we're going to install once in Minecraft. So we are currently installing 1.20.6. So we need to run 1.20.6 once on Minecraft. Now here we can see that 1.20.6 is not over here. So what we need to do is go to installations, click on new installation. Just I'm going to call this 1.20.6. Six, I'm going to select the correct version. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. Here we can see release 1.20.6. Simply click on there and click on create. Now I'm going to click on play. Now for it will probably start downloading it or whatever, um, unless you already play on this version of Minecraft. But you just have to wait for everything to be downloaded and then installed. And then if Minecraft opens up like this, then uh, that should be it. So now we can click on quit game and we have done that. And now we need to go to our folder where we have downloaded Optifine. And in this case, we actually cannot install this because uh, it is a little bit bugged out because this is a jar file. So it should be um, like Java, like this logo over here, the white logo with the coffee cup pretty much but it's currently set to a RAR file. Now, if that is the case for you, what you need to do first is go to Google, go to a new page, search for Java over here, click on the page, and then simply here, click on download Java. And then here we need to click on download Java again. This will start downloading Java and we need to install this for us to be able to install Optifine. A lot of people will not have the, this problem, but a lot of people do actually have this problem. So here I'm simply going to click on the um, 
file, open it up. Then the installer will show up here, as you can see. Click on install. I actually already had it installed, so I don't know what will happen right now. And now we have successfully installed Java. Simply click on close. Now we can go back. Now our file hasn't changed still. So what we need to do is right click, click on show more options, click on properties. And here it says opens with, we need to change this to Java, which now shows up over here. Set as default, click on apply, click on okay. And now as you can see, it should be fine. So it should be an executable jar file. So what will we do now is simply double click on this and we need to install this. So it says Optifine has successfully installed. So now we can click on OK. We can close this out. We can open up our Minecraft launcher. As you can see, Optifine has now been added over here. So now we can click on play and you have to accept this. Click on play again. And let's just wait for this to load. Now you can know if it has worked out if at the bottom left corner, it says modded over there, but simply just go to single player, start a world. And I'm here inside a world. Now by default, um, Optifine is I think set on C or X on your keyboard. For me, it is set on X. So I can zoom in just like that. But if it, that is not the case for you, what you need to do is go to options, controls, keybinds, and then scroll a little bit down until you see zoom here at the bottom. And that is where you can change it to whatever you would like to. So now if I go back, and as you can see, I can now zoom in just like that. Now, method number two, for if you face a problem where Optifine is not up to date to the recent version is by downloading Lunar Client. Now here we have Lunar Client. What exactly is it? Well, it is a client which adds a bunch of different mods all at once inside of Minecraft, as well as boost a lot of FPS and be up to date for every single version. And it allows you to zoom in as well. So over here, I'm simply going to download it and then download it for Windows. Then um, now that it has downloaded, you want to open up the installer, simply click on next and then select this that you accept it. Click on next again, accept and install. And now it will start installing Lunar Client. Once Lunar Client has been installed, you need to log into your Minecraft account. And then what we can do is select the correct version. So currently it's set to 1.8.9. I'm going to click on this drop down arrow. And here we can select all of these versions, as you can see. So here it is already up to date 1.21. And here we can select even 1.21.1, the most recent version currently. And here we have two options. So here you have the Lunar Client's collection of features without extra mods or the Lunar Plus Fabric. Now you need to select the Lunar Plus Fabric and then launch the game. So now we have to wait for this to install and update. And once this is done, I'll get back to you guys. So once you are done installing and opening up Lunar, I'm going to simply click on single player. And as you guys probably saw, it looks a little bit different, but I'm going to go to single player and open up the same world as I did before. And we're currently inside of this. So now with X, at least for me, I can still zoom in, but this mod might not be enabled for you immediately. What you can do is click on escape. And then here, click on Lunar Options. And here you will get a bunch of mods. As you can see, there's like so many of them. 
which you can um, turn on if you would like to. But what you need to do is simply search for Zoom and it is right over here. It's already enabled for me. If I click on options, here we can see the Zoom key. It's currently set to X and um, yeah, so here we can even toggle or change the zoom level if we would like to, as well as the sensitivity. And if you are happy with this, you can click on escape. And there we go, we can zoom in. So that is pretty much it. That is how to zoom in Minecraft.